let me tell you a little bit about why this video was made and matters. First, who is this redheaded chick and what does she have to say to me? Well, I have Asperger's syndrome. I don't have an MD. I don't have an alphabet after my name. But I've lived for 37 years knowing what it's like, the ins and the outs, and I've come out okay. That's not to say it's always been easy, but I get it to my soul. I also have a background um, in education and in social work, which is sort of ironic because things all sort of come together. Without knowing it, I also married an Aspie. We were both diagnosed subsequent to the diagnoses of our children because we are raising three young children with Asperger's syndrome, a daughter and two boys. So in our house, we've got men, women, girls, boys, we've kind of got the gamut and we've got all different ages too. So as I often say, I don't have an MD, but I have an MOM and I have a degree in LIFE. This video is my chance to reach into your home, in your heart, in a quiet time where we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Because the fact is, I'm incredibly blessed that in one year, I have gone from some chick in the U.S. who wrote a book because the professionals in her children's lives said I should, to thanks to you and the incredibly infectious, contagious reaction and response to our dedication to positivity, I've gotten to become not only a colleague but a friend to my personal and professional heroes. I've gotten to hear them say, yeah, what you're doing is not only special, but profound and needs to be heard everywhere. Here's the thing. I don't think I'm anything special at all, actually. I think I'm just like the kid who's in your living room or his or her bedroom, just maybe a little bit older and a smidge wiser, I hope. And though I get to reach hundreds of thousands of people a year via television and radio, Facebook, our website, my, again, I humbly say, award-winning book series, through Twitter, through international book tours, through speaking engagements, and through the most profound and beautiful friendships with young people that I've been privileged to make, thanks to you, I know there's no way that you can remember <laughs> the bullet points of everything I want you to take home. And there's no way that everybody can make it to be here with me personally talking about what really matters. So in this short video, we're going to talk about the five most frequently asked questions and points, whether they're coming from teachers, uh, therapists, counselors, or parents, or grandparents, or from the kids themselves. These are your five superstar questions and five superstar answers. We're going to talk about what Asperger's syndrome is and isn't. We're going to talk about whom should I tell, should I tell, shouldn't I tell, and what do I tell. We're going to talk about the power and the role of anxiety in our children's lives and how we can overcome the destructive power of anxiety with the superpower, the special interest. And we're also going to talk about what are the red flags as far as once I know I have an Aspie, how do I know when a behavior has nothing to do with Asperger's syndrome and when it does so that you can respond appropriately and support the child or the teen or tween. And we're going to give you some takeaways that are your immediate to do in the moment. What can I do to make things better now?